it. Welcome to the channel. I have some new releases from Bees Knees Lacquer to share with you all today. If you are new to the brand, Bees Knees Lacquer is an indie brand based here in the US. Their polishes are five free, cruelty free, as well as being vegan friendly. And they are in 15 ml bottles and they have a beautiful paddle brush. For the month of March, we have a collection inspired by the book House of Flame and Shadow. So I have 10 polishes to share with you all from that main collection. I also have two polishes that are part of the mystery bags, as well as one special polish that is part of the brain tumor awareness box. The House of Flame and Shadow collection launches on March 15th at 7 p.m. on the Bees Knees Lacquer website, as well as their international stockist pages. I will have all of the sale information at the end of the video, as well as down in the description box. As per usual, when I get to talking about the mysteries, I will give you all plenty of warning before the mystery swatches start, just in case you do not want to be spoiled. So all the products featured in today's video were sent to me by Bees Knees for the purpose of swatching and reviewing, so this video is also sponsored. Thank you very much, Bees Knees, for sponsoring today's video. And as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. So as always, down in the description box, links to where you can pick these polishes up, links to the brand's website and social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolelovesnails.com where I host all my swatch photos, as well as provide a written review. And of course, timestamps are down there as well. Let's get into this video. This year for the brain tumor awareness, instead of the polishes being hosted on just one website this year, it seems that all the polishes are gonna be posted on each individual maker's website. I do not have a ton of information yet on this box. I believe last year they had an Instagram account. I will go digging through and see if I can find that and have that linked in the description box for those of you who want to take part. So the Bees Knees polish will be available on their website. I do not know if this will also be up on individual stockist pages. I'm leaning towards no, but Bees Knees does also ship internationally on their main website. $5 from each bottle sold will be going to the two following charities. I don't want to mess up the names of the two charities, so I'm going to have them written on the screen because I'm I I know I'm gonna mess that one up. I'm, I know I'm gonna mess so yeah. And I do believe that this this charity polish will be available at the same time as the main collection. Let's get into the actual swatches for this polish. From the Brain Tumor Awareness box, we have F is for Friends. Bees Knees is taking part in this box again this year. It is described as being a mid-tone blue with pink to gold to green shifting shimmer as well as large particle holographic. It is priced at $14.15 and has no cap. F is for Friends had a fantastic formula. The base felt slightly on the thicker side, but the kind of thickness that adds to opacity and not difficulty in use. This is a super duper sparkly polish. You get a lot of sparkle from the shimmer as well as the holographic. Like I feel like my camera was kind of freaking out trying to get this one photographed. My photo show F is for Friends in two coats plus glossy top coat. Nothing in here is gonna dry down textured. Removal will be fairly easy, but very, very messy. First up, we have Better Than Expected, which Bees Knees describes as a bright pink, almost coral that is a Dumacorn sibling that has that same green to blue shifting shimmer. Better Than Expected had a fantastic formula. This is a super bright, I'm going to call it a neon pink that leans a little bit towards coral because this one does seem to have some neon pigment in it. And yes, it does also glow under black light. I did find this one really difficult to capture color accurate. It's very, very bright, and because of that neoniness to it, it just does not photograph color accurate very well. The shimmer in here is super strong and super glowy. It does not show any brush strokes at all, and it has a really nice color shift. I'm going to call this one a two to three coater, depending on personal preference. The same color on the nail that I was seeing in the bottle, I opted to swatch this one in three coats. Depending on your lighting, you will also have some visible nail line if you have any kind of free edge to speak of. Nothing here is going to dry down tech super easy removal and I had no issues with staining. And now we have Choose Life, which the brand describes as a sheer black base with a green shimmer as well as a scattering of silver light reflected glitter as well as a vibrant magnetic red multi-chrome. As you can see here, Choose Life starts off very sheer. You will definitely want to build this one up to get the most opacity. I found for my full hand swatches, I prefer this one in three coats. I found I was able to reach full opacity that way. This is one of those magnetic polishes where there's just so much like shimmery stuff going on that I did not think this had a black base at all until I read the official description. This magnetized super easily for me. For my live swatch here, I just used a regular wand style magnet. For my full hand swatches, I used a ring magnet. I was really happy with how nicely this one magnetized for me. I am not sure if it's the reflective glitter that makes it seem so sparkly or if it's just the types of shimmers and components that were added in here, but this is a very sparkly polish and I absolutely loved it. The reflective glitter, however, does give this polish a little bit of texture. I found 
one coat of top coat smoothed everything out really nicely for me. The reflective glitter did not make the base feel overly thick at all. This does not have the wet sand like kind of application. I would however caution against scrubbing this polish off. You do not want to scrub off reflective glitter. It could potentially scratch your nail plate. Please use the soak off method or a peel off base coat for the easiest and best removal experience when it comes to reflective glitter. And now we have I'm your executioner which the brand describes as a soft grayed out purple with a glowy blue shimmer this polish also had a fantastic formula but it is incredibly sheer this is going to be one of those polishes i think people are either going to really really love or really really hate due to how sheer it is thanks to the sheerness the shimmer is very strong very glowy however you will be able to see like every kind of imperfection on your nail as well as your nail line i will admit this one while i do really like how glowy and strong the shimmer is I feel like it's just like a tiny bit too sheer for me personally I do think this one is sheer enough that this one definitely has some topper potential Philan swatches show this one in three coats plus glossy top coat honestly I did not see that big of a jump in opacity between two coats and three Nothing in here is going to dry down textured. Removal will be very easy. I had no issues with staining. And now we have Make Your Brother Proud, which the brand describes as a soft blue base with a glowy blue shimmer. This is basically the blue version to the previous polish. So just like that one, this is going to be very sheer. You'll have very obvious visible nail line, as well as being able to see all of your nail even after three coats, but the shimmer is absolutely beautiful. It's super strong and super glowy. This comes across as a very like pastel -y blue with a strong shimmer. I feel like if you are more inclined to like pastels, you probably would like this one a lot more than I did. Make Your Brother Proud was a really pretty polish. I just feel like, again, for me personally, it's just a little bit too sheer to get me super excited, even though I do think the shimmer is absolutely stunning. Nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. I did not experience any issues with staining. However, However, the shimmer will make removal fairly messy. Be prepared to have like a lot of little shimmer particles all over your fingers, especially if you opt to scrub this one off. And now we have Master of Spinning which the brand describes as a pale green with a strong blue shimmer loaded with holographic flakes, and it is technically a lion cousin. I am still very much on a green polish kick because I freaking love this color so damn much. I did not think I was gonna like this one nearly as much as I did. It is absolutely gorgeous on the nail. This does have a fantastic formula. The base did not feel overly thick or thin, and I had zero application issues. It does start off and stays fairly sheer. However, where I didn't like the sheerness in the past, two polishes the addition of the holographic flakes in this one adds a lot more sparkle factor and I found because of the flakies being there it does help distract from your nail line like if you look in between the flakes you will still be able to see your nail as well as your visible nail line but because there's a lot of sparkle factor happening it's a bit more distracting to the eye I found the flakies in here do not dry down textured in any way you will however want top coat for a nice glossy finish this definitely has some potential to be used as a topper if that's what you want to do. Removal will not be overly difficult, but the flakies as well as the shimmer will make things a little bit messy. And now we have Queen of the Valbrin Fae, which the brand describes as another sheer black base, but with a blue shimmer, a scattering of silver light reflective glitter, as well as a magnetic silver to pink shimmer. Much like the previous polish, pretty much all of the color that you see on your nail from this polish is due to the shimmer as well as the magnetic effect. Unmagnetized, you can definitely reach full opacity in two coats. However, once you add the magnetic effect to this one, it does sheer out a little bit, so I think if you want to magnetize this one, I would recommend three coats versus two, assuming you don't want visible nail line at least. I found this one magnetized super, super easily for me. You all know I am not the most patient person in the world, so I kind of struggle with magnetic polishes in general, largely just because I hate having to magnetize each nail individually. However, I found this one magnetized really, really easily. For my full hand swatches, I use my ring magnet. I had the ring magnet on my nails for maybe 30 seconds per nail. I was really 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 happy with how this one looked. I did not expect to like this one nearly as much as I did because I'm honestly not that big of a fan of silver in general. The brand does mention this does have a pink color shift to it. I honestly did not see that until I brought it outside and I thought it was just uh, light playing funny with my camera, which has happened to me before with silver magnetic, so I honestly did not think much of it. The reflective glitter in here is absolutely gorgeous. I was just so incredibly pleased with this polish and I did not expect to be at all. In typical fashion, the reflective glitter will give this one some texture. You will want glossy top coat to smooth everything out and do not scrub this one off. 
I had this polish on for about 24 hours, so I just wanted to show a really quick side-by-side -side of how it looked when I just swatched it versus 24 hours later. I'm very, very pleased with how well the magnetic held up despite me only doing 30 seconds, and I did not re-magnetize after top coating. This next polish is called Reaper, and the brand describes it as a light olive green with a soft green to blue shifting shimmer. Reaper is for everyone out there who really likes themselves an ugly pretty polish, and this one is so very ugly! And I freaking love that for this one. Reaper also had a fantastic formula, but this one is also very, very sheer. This is a perfect example on how my feelings on a shifty shimmer that's sheer is drastically different than my feelings on a shimmer that's not color shifty because where I didn't like the previous super sheer polishes, I freaking love this one. This has a really nice green to blue color shift on top of the fact that it, it's a Prugly and I love me a Prugly, I love me a shifty shimmer. So I was very happy with this one despite not liking the previous sheer polishes. The olive green base does lean like a little bit towards yellow. So like when you're not seeing the super color shifty shimmer, your nail's gonna look like a yellowy green, which I feel like adds to the Prugly factor. My photos show Reaper in three coats plus glossy top coat. Once again, super easy but messy removal. I had no issues with staining. And now we have She Was Enough, which the brand describes as a pale purple base with a strong green to blue shifting shimmer, holographic flakies, as well as matte black flakes. She Was Enough had a fantastic formula. I feel like the addition of the black matte flakes in this polish sent this from like, oh, that's kind of cute to like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I truly don't know what it is about black flakes or even black glitter shreds for that matter that just make me fall in love with something. It's just, I just think it's a fantastic addition. This is another fairly sheer polish, so I would recommend building it up if you don't want to see visible nail line. I'll call it a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I personally wanted more of the black matte flakies, so that's largely why I ended up going in for three coats. I found that did reach full opacity for me. This one is super de duper holographic. The shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. This is just a phenomenal polish all around. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured. However, removal is going to be very, very messy. I'd recommend the soak off method just because of the mess level, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And now we have Through Love All Is Possible, which the brand describes as a sheer neutral peach with a glowy aqua to blue shifting shimmer. This also had a wonderful formula, but as you can see, it is a very sheer polish. The shimmer in here is absolutely beautiful. You do see some brush strokes in it when it is wet. I found for the most part, they disappear as the polish dries down. If you really look for brush strokes, you'll see a couple, but for the most part, they all do disappear as the polish dries down. Obviously, because it is so sheer, you will have very obvious visible nail line. You'll see your whole nail through the shimmer. There wasn't a huge jump in opacity or honestly, even the strength in the shimmer between two coats and three. It did build the base up a little bit more, but I still feel like it's honestly a negligible amount. I will still call this one a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I feel like if I go back to wear this for personal wear, probably just gonna stop in two coats. Nothing in here is gonna dry down textured. Removal will be very easy, but messy due to the shimmer. I think this polish is pronounced weird, but I, it could be word, it could be wired. I'm honestly not 100% sure. Google says it's weird, I don't know for sure. So this one is described as a charcoal polish with a strong blue shimmer loaded with holographic flakies, and this is technically also a lion cousin. So once again, we have a very sheer base, but we have a very strong shimmer as well as holographic flakies. Because this starts out so sheer, you definitely do want to build this one up to get the most opacity. Building it up also really strengthens the shimmer as well as making the flakies really pop from all of the layers in the base. I personally thought this one looked best in three coats. I felt in two coats, it was just like a little bit too uneven for me. If you have super short nails, it's probably gonna be more passable in two than if you have slightly longer nails. Just like the previous holographic flaky polishes in this release, you get a lot of sparkle, a lot of hollow boom for your buck without any of the texture that a glitter would give you. You will still want top coat for a nice glossy finish. Removal will not be overly difficult, but it will be very, very messy. Alrighty, so final thoughts. 
Overall, I thought this was a really fun collection. The polishes that I thought I was gonna like the most, I ended up liking the most. A couple of the polishes that I thought I wasn't gonna like, I actually ended up liking, and yes, those are the magnetics. <laughs> Overall, I thought this was a really nice release. I feel like as far as the color story goes, I'm not getting any particular vibes off of it, honestly. I really appreciate that we had a mixture of finishes again. I really feel like I'm always happiest when we have a mixture and variety. I'm having a really hard time deciding on what my top pick is going to be, so I'm just gonna list off the ones that I like the most. That would be Reaper, She Was Enough, Queen of Valbaran Fay, as well as Weird. I think those are going to be my favorites from this whole release. As far as sale information goes, this collection launches on March 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the Bees Knees Lacquer website. This will be open for a week-long pre-order ending on the 22nd at 11.59 p.m. again Eastern Time. There are currently no limits in place to pick these polishes up. However, there is going to be a limit on the mystery bags. All the polishes in the main part of the release are priced between $14 and $14.50. And if you pick up all 10 polishes, there will be an automatic discount of 15% added to your order. There will be some overpours available this month from the Throne of the Fallen release as well as the Fall of the House of Usher freebies will also be available. There is a soft cap of a thousand bottles of ready to ship polishes available. Everything else will be on a pre-order just like the past couple of months have been. All right and now for the mystery bags. The mystery bags share the same name as the main part of the collection. All the polishes featured in the mystery bags are listed as being both shimmers and light reflective glitters and the mystery bags are priced at $25 for two polishes. And again, there is a limit of one mystery bag per person. However, that is not a limit on household. So again, if you want to get a bag, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousin, everybody in the household can get a bag. All the polishes in the mystery bags will be available at a later date individually without the mystery listing attached to them. There are a total of nine possible polishes from these mystery bags. I'll have a list of all of the potential polishes on my blog post for the mystery bags, which is will be listed in the description box. I am very hopeful that the blog post will be up either on the same day as this video or the following day. It, it will be up long before the release though. If you don't want to be spoiled for the mystery bags, feel free to leave now. Bye bitch. <laughs> But before you leave, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new videos every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I go live on Sundays. We would love to have you here on the channel. Alrighty, everyone else, let's get to these mystery spoilers. First up from the mysteries, we have You Remind Me That I'm Alive. The brand describes this one as a mid-tone brown base with a gold shimmer and a scattering of silver light reflective glitter. You Remind Me That I'm Alive had a fantastic formula. I freaking love brown plus gold. I feel like that is always going to be a winning combination also because you guys know how I feel about gold. Although I will say I do think this particular shade of brown, I feel like this is skirting that line between like a burnt orange and a brown. I think if you had asked me personally what color it was before I read the description, I would have definitely called it a burnt orange. Whatever color it is, it is so damn beautiful. I was pleasantly surprised by how opaque this polish was. I was able to reach full opacity with it in two coats. I am still gonna call it a two to three coater depending on application style and personal preference. This was slightly thicker than some of the other polishes in the release, but I still wouldn't call it a thick polish. The reflective glare did not give it a wet sand like consistency. Removal of course will be on the more difficult side due to those glitters do not scrub this one off use the soak off method please and the second mystery polish is called Irates, which the brand describes as a rich cobalt blue with a glowy blue shimmer as well as a scattering of silver light reflective glitter. Irates. Also had a fantastic formula, but just slightly on the thicker side. This is going to be another two to three coater depending on application style and personal preference. If you don't mind an obvious visible nail line, it's going to be passable in two coats. I opted to go in for three coats for my full hand swatches. I just love how sparkly this polish is. I feel like it's it's likely going to be very comparable to several BKL polishes that are the same kind of blue with blue shimmer, but I think the biggest difference between all of them is likely going to be the addition of the reflective glitter. And thanks to that reflective glitter, this does dry down with some texture. One coat of top coat smoothed it up pretty decently for my full hand swatches. Depending on how thick your top coat is, you might need to go in for a second layer. While I did not personally experience any staining, I would definitely recommend wearing base coat. And I also would recommend using the soak off method and not scrubbing this one off. 
Alrighty, and that's it for me. Not gonna pick favorites from the mysteries because I feel like you can tell which one is my favorite from the mysteries. So just thank you all very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before we end today's video, I want to give a very special shout out to my channel members. Shenanigans! Just thank you all so very much for your love and support. You guys are truly the best. Names are all on the screen now. If you'd like to sign up for my channel memberships, I have a link for that in the description box. You know, as always, please do not feel pressure to sign up. Just like the video, comment, share, subscribe, all the things, and seriously, we are good. I would love to know what everyone else is planning on picking up from this release. Again, it goes on sale on the 15th. If you all would like me to do comparisons on these polishes, we can do a live stream. So if you would like to do the live stream, please, please, list off which polishes you would like me to compare. It can be both polishes from Bees Knees or other brands. I can't guarantee that I'll have all the polishes, but just drop them in the comment section if you have and I think of something that you would like me to compare. Whenever people can, you know, give me an idea on what to look for, it's always greatly appreciated and super helpful. So thank you. Just thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.